Kilted shenanigans, fun and games. What do you do when you're kilted? So we're talking about today, everybody, KT421, your favorite activity when you're kilted. So everybody has a thing that they love doing. That's a fact. So I'm curious, what is your favorite kilted activity? For me, my very favorite thing, okay, so let me let me put a caveat on that. I apologize. Pub crawls don't count. Kilted pub crawls are not on the list because that's a given. Scottish games, a given. Renaissance festivals, all that kind of stuff. Okay, fine, we know. Everybody loves going to those. What regular thing do you love doing? Me, I love hiking. Going out in the woods, going camping, hiking, uh, any of that kind of stuff. Kilted, because I haven't actually done a hike in anything but a kilt in probably 10 years. I can remember chafing. I can remember, you know, getting overheated because you got pants on and you... You can't go to any place to change into shorts. Uh, you know, carrying extra pairs of pants, soaking wet pants, all those just shock horribly. So I love going hiking, camping, climbing, whatever, kilted. It's just, it's awesome. It epitomizes the freedom that you're given while kilted. So do me a favor. Down in the comments below, I want to see what it is that you love doing kilted while you're kilted. And I don't care what it is. I don't want to know what you, what it is, what those things are that are so awesome. You're like, you know what? It doesn't matter what's going on in the universe. There's this one thing. If I'm doing it, I'm in a kilt. Just end of discussion. So what is that for you? What kind of thing do you love doing while you're wearing your kilt? And whatever it is, drop a comment down below. You never know. There might be some shenanigans involved. And... Uh, Maybe there'll be a winner. God only knows what that winner might be winning. So do me a favor. Drop it down in the comments below. If you don't mind, like, share the video. That's cool. Uh, the more people that let me know what's going on, the better. But just let me know. What is your favorite thing to do while you're wearing a kilt? And, uh, yeah, talk about it tomorrow. So let's get on to kiltology because, well, I haven't been reading these very much recently. So, we're talking about favorite places to go to the kilt. Anyway, Kiltology, volume number two. It's on Amazon. Go buy a copy. Kiltology number 369. Clothes make the men. Clothes make the men is a popular phrase used by those trying to force a certain style and degree of clothedness. Have you ever seen clothing make anything except a pile on the floor? I haven't. If clothes were making the man, we all know the kilt would be doing the work. This guy would be would make Superman look like a half-mashed dream bean with no guts. Woman of the world would be would abandon all of their celebrity crushes and fantasies, replacing them all with this man made by the kilt. This most inter interesting man in the world, or oh, no, I'm sorry, the most interesting man in the world would beg to hang out with this guy. Fabio would relinquish his throne as the king of romance novels to this guy. It's rumored that Chuck Norris was made by a group of kilts trying to prove this point, but they've not come forward to claim their victory. Why? Because Chuck Norris. So, clothes do not make the man, and if they did, kilts, they would make one hell of a dude. And with that, I'll let you go. It's Friday night. It's also turning the clock backs, turning the clocks back weekend. Kind of sucks to lose an hour of sleep Saturday night. So get your shenanigans in early. Make sure you uh, drink plenty of water and get that anti I'm having too much pre-St. Patrick's Day fun shenanigans out of your system. So I'll see you tomorrow. Have a badass day tomorrow, Saturday. It's going to be awesome. You're making it that way. And as always, be strong. Put a kilt on.